Hey everyone, and welcome to this video tutorial for After Effects, where I'm going to show you how to create simple subtitles like these while using a couple of very basic expressions. So what we're going to be learning here is how to create text that uh, changes using these keyframes. And that's pretty much half of your tutorial there. And then also how to create a box behind your subtitles that uh, dynamically resizes to match your text. All right, so let's jump into this and I'll show you how we build this. So we start by creating a new composition. I'm going to call it uh, subtitles demo um, size HD, uh, 30 frames per second and duration 10 seconds, uh, all good. So first of all, what we need here is a background. So I'm going to create a new solid. We're going to call it BG. And it's going to be gray color like that. Now I'm going to lock it as we won't be using it anymore. And next I go to my text type tool and I double click on it, which creates a text field at the very center of my screen. And this is going to be my subtitles. So first of all, let's position it uh, roughly where the subtitle should be. And I'm going to rename this layer to subtitles so we can keep things organized. All right, so let's write down some subtitles. So say my first line is going to say, welcome to this very new video tutorial. And I'll say two seconds later, I want to change it to another line. So for that, I open this guy and I add a keyframe to source text at uh, zero second mark. That means that at zero seconds, this is going to be the text that we're going to be seeing. And then at two seconds, I just double click on my text and write another line saying where I'm going to show you how to create subtitles. And if we look here, we can see that it has automatically created this keyframe and our subtitle automatically changes from one line to the next one. And then say maybe here at five seconds, I want to change again uh, to say, using a couple of simple expressions. And then let's add one more so we have a short line for our demo. And it's going to say, let's get started. And there you have it. Our text is changing at each one of these keyframes. And if you wanted to, that could be our subtitles tutorial done. But say sometimes you might have a busy background. So um, in those cases, it's a good idea to add a box behind your subtitles. Now, first things first, uh, let's make this text white so that it reads against the uh, dark background. We could do it over here using this color selector, but we have our text animated. So you'd have to update it on every single keyframe. So an easier way to do this is to add uh, generate fill and set its color to white. Okay, so let's add our box. I deselect any layers and double click on this uh, rectangle tool. This creates a box at the very center of my screen. I make sure that it has no stroke on it. So that's good. And black fill color is also good. So let's put it behind our subtitles. And we're going to call this subtitles box. All right. And then in my subtitles box, I can go in here and resize the box. So it's roughly the same size as my subtitles. And then I position it somewhere over here. Let's just make sure that everything is centered. That's good. And finally, let's drop the opacity of this box to maybe 70%. All right, and now the question is, how do I make this box to automatically resize to my subtitles? And for that, there is a very simple expression that we can use. I open up my content, rectangle, and I find my size. So size is the property that we want to adjust using an expression. And the way we're going to do this is by telling this box to take a look at our text layer 
and use that layer's width and height for our box so that it's always exactly the same size as the text, if that makes sense. And so for that, we need to add an expression here and I'll explain exactly what I'm doing in case you are new to expressions. So I press down the Option key or the Alt key if you're using a PC, click on the stopwatch next to uh, Size and that enables the expression window. So in here, the first thing I want to define for myself is a new variable and I'm going to call it subtext. And I just point this to our subtitles layer so that I don't have to enter its full name every time. Now we can start writing the expression that will read the width of this layer. So for that, we say text width, and that's what we're going to call it. Text width is going to be uh, subtext. So uh, to get my text width, we have to look at my subtitles layer and draw an invisible rectangle around it to figure out its size. That's what this function does. And we want to read this information at uh, time, which means uh, current time or now. And then we need to say which specific uh, property we want to read. And so here I say width. All right, and that should get us the width. So next we can just copy this guy, paste it here, and change it to height so that we can get its height. Okay, so now we know its width, we know its height, and finally we can feed this information back into the size of our box. The size is expecting to get two numbers uh, that will define its width and height. So let's give it those here. We add uh, two square brackets like that, and then say text width here, and comma text height for our height. And now we can see that our box is perfectly following the size of our text. Great. Um, it's a little tight though, so let's fix that. I find my width. And over here I say, I like how you're getting that width, but I want to add a little margin to it. So let's make it uh, 100 here, which adds 100 units uh, of width to whatever the text is. And so you can see that it adds uh, 50 here and 50 here. And then for my height, I might add a little less, say uh, 40. And so you can change these values to adjust the size of your box. Okay, and so if I scroll through this guy, I can see that our box is perfectly following the subtitles, um, which is exactly what we wanted to create. And if I want to, I can adjust the roundness of my corners or any other property um, and, and customize the look of this box, um, whichever way I want. And essentially that's our subtitles done, but I'll show you one more thing that you might uh, run into as it can otherwise be a frustrating thing to, to adjust manually. And so let me show you here. Say, say sometimes you might have a very long line of text and you wanna break it down into two lines like this. And so what happens here is, if I turn off the text, um, you can see that the box scales up from the center, right? But if we take a look at the text, the text scales up downwards. So it's kind of anchored here at the very top left corner. So what we wanna do here is we wanna change the anchor point position so that it's located in the middle. And the way we can do this is by reading the height of our text and then offsetting our anchor point by half of that height so that it ends up in the middle. Again, for that, we're gonna be using an expression and it's a very simple one. On my text layer, I'm going to go to the anchor point and I access this by pressing the A key on my keyboard. Then I hold the Option or the Alt key and I click on the stopwatch here. And what I will say here is that I want to get a new Y position for you, which is going to be this layer, source rect at time, same expression again, at uh, current time. And I want to look at the height of this uh, text. And I want to get half of that height. 
So if I put the full height, it's going to put my anchor point from here to here. But we only want to move it to here. So for that, we divide it by half. So a semicolon. And over here, we're feeding in x. And I want you to remain at 0. And then y is going to be y pos. Okay, so let's just readjust these guys so that the text is perfectly at the center. And if we've done everything right, there you go. Our subtitles are staying right in the middle. And now I can change the line height here and everything automatically adjusts. I can also change it to a single line or even change the font and everything works as intended. So there you go. That's how easy it was to create a simple subtitle setup. And now you can save this as a file. And then whenever you have a project where a client calls you up in the 11th hour asking to add subtitles, you can simply import this file into your project. Grab these two layers, drop them at the very top of your main comp, change this text here, and you're done. All right then, so I hope you learned something new, and uh, thanks for watching.